Hi guys, it's October 1st, so of course it's the start of another design team project for Artsology, and I'm using her 44 Vintage Seed Packet labels, number 120. They're available at her Etsy shop, and there's the address there. You can try searching on Etsy for um, Artsology, make sure you put a Z in, um, but it's much easier if you have the uh, link or uh, an address. So anyway, um, Here's what they look like. There are 11 pages, and there's four per pages, so there's 44, that's why it says 44, and they have very vibrant colors, and they're just gorgeous. And when I picked this kit, I thought, you know, here it is, almost, well, it is October, and definitely fall, and I'm picking these to do a spring <laughs> flower journal, just because I bought this, oh, a month or so ago, and I just want to use it. So, um, you know, I'm still in spring. So anyway, but when I started looking at these flowers, I thought, you know, they're not all springy. There are some that could absolutely be used for fall. So, um, like this, poppies, I'm not poppies, pansies, and just different colors. So these are not just spring, um, a spring kit. So, you know, you think seed packets, uh, planting seeds, spring, but these can definitely be used year round. And... Uh, so there's another one, definitely. So anyway, um, I'm going to make this journal I just showed you. I got it at a store called Dirt Cheap. And I think I probably showed you guys in a video. I'm not sure. And it wasn't too expensive. and They have new stuff there, but um, it's kind of like closeout stuff. And just, you know, you might just find one or something. And... Um, I'll show you more about it in just a second. Let's just keep looking at these. So uh, what's nice about it is it comes as PDF. So once you download it, you just say print. Make sure you have 11 pieces of paper in there. And this time I used a good uh, photo paper that doesn't have Kodak written all over the back. And you just it just zips, goes through and prints 11 pages. Now, if you want them different sizes, of course, I don't know of a way to resize PDFs. I just have to convert to JPEG. So I did a few because I wanted to be pages in this uh, journal. And this is a four ring journal and I'm not sure what the size is. It is about seven by nine. So I needed them a little larger. And this journal came with that, these little seed packets. I'm pretty sure I saw this. And pages like, it's a garden planner. So anyway, I wanted to include some of these as pages in here, not just journaling cards. So I printed them a little larger, like five by seven-ish. So I um, did those two and these two, just blew them up. These two, and then these weren't quite big enough. These were the first two I printed and I just stuck a um, image of some um, trim I had scanned at the bottom so but I wanted them bigger so I didn't have room for the trim on those and then of course I thought I'm going to try printing them smaller and you can uh, do that if you select them like I selected sorry 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 um four of the images that said print four to a page and you know I got them smaller so that will definitely be used for um embellishments could be paper clips as well and banners all sorts of things now at the same time I'm doing this I thought you know why stop there I had said a while back it's been several months that I had this five ring binder that I wanted to do a journal in my gardening book and um, so I'm going to do that as well so I'm going to keep a lot of the pages that are here, add some other pages, of course. I'll take some out. Then I thought, I definitely want to put some of these seed packets in here as pages. So I blew them up even bigger. And of course, there you can see where I've, you know, I can't just waste a piece of paper. If I've got some white space, I'm going to try to find something to put there. Even if I don't use it for this journal, I'll still have it printed out. So anyway, I blew that one up. This one didn't, I, you know, was fiddling with the size, so um, not quite as big. This one's bigger. It's the same ones I blew up for the other journal. I just blew them up even more for this one and then just added some of my own scans around the edges. So anyway, 
That's my goal, is to do two journals with these this kit. And then maybe I'll move on to more fall things. So anyway, that's my start. Just wanted to show you. And once again, this is the 44 Vintage Seed Packet Labels, number uh, 120. And there's um, the address to her shop. So I will keep you guys posted on what I do next. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye.